the Canada Nutrition Kitchen. <laughs> My name is Aglaé Jacob. I'm the author of Digestive Health with Real Food and today I want to share with you another one of my favorite recipe, it sounds like every recipe is my favorite one, but really they each have different nutritional benefits and properties uh, that are both also nourishing and all made with very simple ingredients that most people, even those with different food intolerances and uh, different uh, diets will be able to eat and enjoy and, and benefit from and be able to heal and move further along on their own healing journey. So this week the recipe is on page 312 in the second edition of my book and it's the da 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 chicken liver pate. Oh my god did I say liver? Well yes I did. So liver is probably not one of your favorite food except for a few odd ones out there. For most people liver is eat that and I completely get it I was there myself too many years ago uh, because I'd never eaten liver uh, growing up and this was like kind of a weird food that I didn't want to eat but uh, organ meat especially liver is like I would I want to say 10,000 times more nutritious uh, it's probably not an accurate number but like ah, so many many times more nutritious than any um, muscle meat any uh, any any other parts of the animal and also more nutrient dense than any other plant food uh, especially in terms of iron zinc uh, vitamin B's uh, there's also choline and so many other healing nutrients that will help you on your gut healing journey or to heal or improve any other kind of health um, problem except if you have hemochromatosis which is an excessive accumulation of liver of, of iron in your body then you may want to pass on that recipe but for everybody else really this is a really healthy food so in the recipe, uh, what you need is about one pound of liver, and then the quality of your liver is really important. Uh, I recommend choosing organic uh, or uh, grass-fed, depending on the animal, or like a grass-fed uh, beef uh, or grass-fed bison liver, or it could be uh, organic pastured chicken liver. Um, a lot of people are afraid of liver because they feel like toxins get accumulated in the liver of the animals and then we eat it, but that's actually not the case. So two things to reassure you here, the liver is not the organ where toxins are stored. Yes, the liver metabolizes toxin in the animal and in ourselves too, but those toxins will be stored and the buildup of these toxins will be um, in our fat stores and the fat stores of the animal. So, that you know myth busted and then the second thing is that by choosing the best quality liver you can from organic pasture grass fed whatever animal uh, possible then you minimize the risk of exposing yourself to any toxin whatsoever so you don't have any excuses sorry <laughs> so what you need I said okay one pound of liver then uh, half of a large onion or a whole medium one of that size if you are sensitive to onions or fun maps you can just leave them out you can add a couple of gloves of garlic again if you're sensitive to fun maps just leave them out then uh, you're gonna put that in the pan uh, with some salt and pepper and about half a cup of red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar and you're gonna you're gonna let that simmer cook until the liver is cooked all the way through and until about half of the vinegar has evaporated and then once that's done you can turn the heat off and add about a quarter cup of butter and just let that um, cool down a little bit and then put that in um, how's it called like the <laughs> the thing that mixes and chop at the same time I have this word in French now um, like a mixer thing, not a blender, because the blender, like the shape doesn't work very well. Let me show you the one I have. It's a very old one. <laughs> um, but uh, with this shape is better because you're chopping liver here. So it, it works better with a larger kind of um, container like this. Okay, so once that's done, You'll be able to put that into a little mason jar, that's what I love to do. Those are eight ounces each. And you get a very, very uh, smooth texture, um, spreadable, oops, sorry, 
trying to zoom. And how to eat it is the most common question I get. Oh, before I forget, like the rest, like I, I usually, I freeze everything uh, and I get one uh, out every one or two weeks when I feel like I need a little boost. And really, let me tell you that I have suffered from anemia a lot in the past, um, starting to eat liver. Like I, I even took iron uh, supplement and never did much for me, but liver really, really helped. Um, yeah, since I've started incorporating it into my diet and when I was at the beginning of my pregnancy, I started going into uh, iron deficiency again because I was kind of, I had a little bit of an aversion to meat for a little while and incorporating liver again, even though I didn't really feel like it, was so helpful. I really boosted my ferritin levels by so much, so I really highly recommend it. My favorite ways to eat it is uh, on those things. So you can either spread it on slices of cucumbers or plantain chips or any kind of gluten-free crackers with a list of ingredients that, that works for you. I have to say liver is not my favorite food. Like I'm not, oh my God, I'm gonna eat liver or liver pate. But liver pate is the form I can, under which I can eat liver the most easily because there's no texture issue. It's all blended with other yummy ingredients. And by using it like that, I really see it as a supplement more than anything. And um, yeah, I'm gonna prove to you that it's edible. Taking a bite right now. It's delicious. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, it's it's okay. And it's good enough for me because I really see food as medicine. I have lots of food in my diet that I really, really enjoy. And some foods like that that I eat for the nutritional benefits, and that's one of them. So my name is Agla Jacob. I'm a registered dietitian, the author of the book Digestive Health with Real Food. And that was the chicken liver pate. Have a good week. Bye.